What's going on YouTube? Kevin here with a video review for the Lemire Stylus from New Trend. I apologize to New Trend if I butchered that pronunciation, but you guys can see what it is up in the title of this video. So just like it says, it is a stylus. So I guess you guys don't really need to know what a review for a stylus is or what it is, because I'm pretty sure you guys know by now what one of these is. However, uh, this does feature a different type of um, stylus and uh, you can see here it is pretty high quality. You have a micro knit uh, fabric here at the top where you would track on your touchscreen, capacitive touchscreen that is. So this will work with pretty much any touchscreen device you have on the market. It will work with laptops, it will work with your iPhone, iPod, uh, iPad, it will work with your Android phone, your um, you know, your Galaxy tablet, whatever type of touchscreen that you have. So long as you can use your finger with it, you can use with this because it does have um, a tip that is is compatible with a capacitive touch screen. So it's nice to know that it is compatible with everything else, just like a lot of stylus styli are. And it has a grip here, so it is very comfortable after using it for a while. And even if you, I don't know, take notes on your tablet using this method somehow, um, if you are using it for a long time, your hand does not get that uncomfortable. Even though the grip kind of is this rubbery material, it still is very comfortable. It's a lot better than holding just like a metal barrel or something like I have experienced with other stylus or styli. And also here at the top, you can't see it because it's concealed. But if you turn the bottom of the pen, you actually get or the bottom of the stylus, you get a ballpoint pen. This is a fine tip ballpoint pen. It writes in black ink. I'm not sure if you can get it replaced with a different color, but this is this also doubles as not only a you know touchscreen stylus, but also a normal ballpoint pen. If you want to take notes and lecture or something along those lines, or just use it as a normal writing utensil, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, the ink is nice and smooth. It's fine. Um, no problems with that, really. The only problem that I had that I thought was a little bit gimmicky, which Actually, it's not really the stylus's fault itself. It's more so the physics of how this stylus works with a particular touch screen. Is that sometimes if you have a screen that is not oleophobic, meaning that it does not repel oils, such as most screen protectors that you would put on your devices are not oleophobic. There are certain ones like SGP, I believe. It does have a certain type of screen shield that is oleophobic, and the iPhone 4 and 4S screens naturally by themselves are oleophobic, so there is no oil on the screen. However, if you have a screen shield like I do that does not that is not oleophobic, meaning that it collects oil, like you can kind of see right there, that means that sometimes when you you know use this to track on it, it will make a high pitched squeaking noise. And that's not really too bad of a problem. You can just take your shirt or a cotton cloth or a microfiber cloth, wipe it off real quick, and then you're back to silent tracking. So not a huge deal with that, but that's something I noticed in case that really bothers you guys for some reason. So we're just going to do a real quick demo of this, of course, and there's nothing really new about styluses that you guys haven't seen, but we're just going to fire up Temper on one of my favorite games for iOS, and you can see that this is a very responsive stylus. Whoops, I just failed there. But you can tell it's really responsive. There's nothing uh, really difficult about tracking. Everything's nice and smooth, and it responds just as if it was using your finger to play this game or any other game. And I'd imagine you wouldn't be gaming with a stylus on your phone or your you know touchscreen device but it's just good to know that regardless of whatever type of task you're doing it can handle it be it from writing drawing or just you know playing a casual game like this so it's good to know that this stylus is compatible with a lot of different things it's very responsive and it works just fine on pretty much any touchscreen that you've tried it works on my laptop works on my ipod my iphone uh, my brother's um Kindle Fire, you know, any type of touchscreen compatible with, so that's a good thing for it. Uh, one last thing I need to mention is that it does come with this little carrying case, I guess. Even though this thing is made of hard metal, as you guys can probably hear, um, it does come in this little canister, I want to say. All you do is take the stylus, put it into this little case here, and then take the cap, pop it on, and then your stylus is good to go and pretty much, you know, not really prone to damage. Although the case isn't really it's not really, I don't think it was really meant to be a case. I think it was just more so for transport uh, through the mail so it didn't get crushed or scratched. But that is there at your disposal if you so wish. However, it is kind of difficult to get the stylus out of there once you put it in. So 
uh, before I close this video, there's a few things that Nutrient wanted me to mention. First of all, they want you to go ahead and like their Facebook page, so link to that will be down below in the description. They also wanted me to kind of promote their beta or pilot testing program, which is basically a program where you go ahead and sign up, and every time, well not every time, but when they release a new product, if they want to release it to the beta testers, you guys would be the first ones to get it before it gets released out into the public. So pretty cool thing, pretty cool idea, go ahead and sign up for that. And also, you guys do get a coupon code for being awesome, awesome viewers. So. There will be uh, directions down in the description below. If you guys actually buy this stylus along with the Nutrient IQ kickstand case, which I reviewed a little earlier on this channel, you guys will get a combined discount if you have both of those items in your shopping cart and then use it with the discount code that I will be providing in the description below. So that's pretty much all I have to review. The stylus is pretty awesome. It retails for $8.95 US, so about nine bucks. Not too bad for a stylus that is pretty durable and pretty versatile as well in terms of the quality of the tracking and the responsiveness and the cool feature of the added ballpoint pen for everyday usage. So that pretty much wraps up my video review for the new Trent Lemire stylus. Again, I want to thank them for signing this out to me for a review. Go ahead and check out all those links I will be posting down below in the description, guys. And until next time, Kevin here with this video review, and I'll catch you guys later.